Hello everyone, in this two minute tidbit we're going to look at five quirks of working with the ESP8266. The first one we'll look at is Phantom Wi-Fi. We have a sketch here that connects to the Wi-Fi and will light an LED when it is. The sketch on the right was written to the board after the one on the left, where I've commented out all the Wi-Fi connection code. Both of these will still connect to the Wi-Fi. This is because the ESP8266 will remember the last known Wi-Fi configurations. If you want to use the ESP8266 without Wi-Fi, you need to set the mode to Wi-Fi off. The next quirk is analog write intensity. We digital write one of the pins high, and we analog write the other 255. On the Nano you can see both LEDs are the same, but on the ESP8266 the write pin is much dimmer. This is because the max for analog write on an ESP8266 is 1023. The next quirk is analog write persistence. We've got a sketch here that analog writes an LED on and then digital writes it off. You can see here that the ESP8266 the LED is solid, but on the Nano the LED is blinking. This is actually a bug. You need to analog write 0 to a pin before you can digital write to that pin again. This is fixed in the release candidate version of the ESP8266 score. The next quirk is pin identity crisis. I've got a blink sketch running on pin 5. When I have the LED connected to D5, it's not doing anything, but when I connect it to D1, it starts blinking. This is because 5 is not the same as D5. Wemos and NodeMCU boards are marked with their own custom pin configuration that differs from generic ESP8266 models. The easiest solution is to use the name as it appears on the board. And finally, some of the pins are used for boot mode selection. These pins are 0, 2 and 15, or D3, D4 and D8. So if you have something connected to these pins and your ESP8266 is not booting up, you might be accidentally enabling one of the boot modes. So hopefully you found this video interesting, and if you have any quirks that you think are worth sharing, please let us know in the comment section below. Thanks a lot.